everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to X-Dex. Today I'm going to be teaching you a one-handed move called Trigger. Now this move was popularized by Nikolai Peterson of previously of anyone worldwide, um, but the reason why I say it was popularized by him is because it was previously created by a guy named R.A. Mendoza. I followed a trail, you guys can actually check out a December Boys video that I will link in the description that Lucas Rebel uh, showed me the other day, so I had some history and background of this. But it used to be called Bolus, B-O-L-I-S, and before him it was actually created by a guy named Della Mark Red. Um, and there was a whole chain you guys can check out the December Boys video but I wanted to give you that note before I jump into the tutorial so I hope you guys enjoyed the preview it's a really fun move and I actually learned this one recently um, and some of you guys who are helpful enough in the community to teach me uh, helped me learn it and so I would like to teach it to you guys so and I also got Nikolai's uh, permission to teach this so without further ado let's jump into the tutorial for Trigger so to start the tutorial for Trigger, um, there are no prerequisites, but I do recommend you learn the scissor cut that looks like this. Uh, that'll help you with a grip, and then later on I'll teach you a grip that my friend Jackson taught me, which looks a little bit like that, so you can complete the move. Now with that being said, this is an intermediate to advanced move, so if you are a beginner, I would recommend learning something before this. Not saying you can't do it, but this might be a little bit harder than what you're used to, just to warn you. Um, and that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So recommend you learn the scissor cut because that's going to be important and a lot of my tutorials before include this little move right here there's not really a name for it but it's just kind of lifting the pack by putting your pinky at the middle uh, short side middle of the short side and pulling in with your ring and your pinky and that gets it to uh, get out of the way so that a packet can clear excuse me and that's going to be important later so for this motion you're going to want to get into this grip and it really doesn't matter how you get into this or not even grip position with the deck where you have half a third however many cards you want to use i recommend less especially if you're learning it at the beginning um, perpendicular to the deck in dealer's grip like this and your thumb is going to go in this little corner right here so you take a piece this way lay it across the top so that those are flush and then you've got a little bit of space down here and that thumb is going to go in the corner now the reason why you want to be able to lift that into straddle grip or have that grip with the pinky is because this is the way you're going to be able to or you're going to need to grab the packet you're going to need to grab uh, the third or however many cards you have between your index and your thumb and be able to twirl them so if you have learned the revolution cut before that would be uh, a great prerequisite not necessary but it would help a lot and rev um, three that I taught a couple weeks ago those would be very useful to learn for trigger uh, I use trigger in a lot of moves so you don't have to have it be one-handed you can literally just take um, a packet in biddle grip and with your index and your thumb take some off and perform the move so now let's get into the mechanics of how it works so you're in this position and here's what's weird your index and your thumb are going to rotate clockwise thumb first so you're gonna swivel it out a little bit like that so that you can clear it off of this long side from the packet that is underneath it. So you're going to have your pinky pull, and as your pinky pulls, it'll help this get out of the way. Uh, your pinky curls in, and then the index and thumb turn this way, and so you're cleared out here. Now this is where you're going to need to practice, because you're going to be in this grip, and you're going to need to turn and swivel the packet itself between your middle and your thumb like this. So I recommend just sitting there practicing this a couple times to get it because you're going to want to get uh, the middle on the other side of it like this. So practice taking your middle finger and putting it around to that side of the deck. Now this is already stretching my hand so that hurts a little bit but if you're able to do that that is one of the steps necessary. So what you do then is you take that grip, swivel it out, you're going to lift it away, so you're going to pull in that direction as your pinky pulls out and swivel it behind here like that. Now here's the thing, the thumb can leave now and now you're in this really awkward grip, but once you're against the middle finger on that long side like this, so your thumb is going to pull out, it's going to lift away, it's now going to rotate counterclockwise and you want to get this middle finger on this long side close to the thumb. And now the thumb can move out of the way and switch and the index finger will continue counterclockwise with the middle and it can slide underneath that packet. Now I will tell you this, doing this in slow motion like I'm doing is way, way uh, like stretchier on your hands or way more uh, troublesome on your hands. But if you can do it quickly like that, quick, the quicker you do it, the uh, less it'll hurt your hand. So as, as you're learning this slowly, it will uh, make your muscles more sore in your hand. 
So to go over that again, you pull index and thumb clockwise till it clears outside the packet. The pinky is pulling this packet down. So now you've got space like this underneath your hand. And then the reason why you need to hold, or I guess I should say, the thumb and the index need to hold this packet on the tips because the, the lower down you hold this, the harder it's gonna be to get that middle finger around. So the closer you can hold this packet to your index and thumb, the easy, well, easier it will be to get your middle finger on that long side. So to start in a basic dealer's grip, you just take your thumb and pull out to the side like this to get in that position and let your thumb get in that little corner area. So it's like doing half a scissor cut. So scissor cut isn't really necessary, but it's easy this way. Then rotate clockwise while your pinky, kind of like completing a scissor cut in the right side of your hand or left side of your hand, depending on which hand you're using, the pinky side of your hand, pulling that out. Now counterclockwise, and I got a really bad grip on that, so that's not gonna work. So the closer to the tips, now the middle finger can help even by pushing this packet out of the way while it's rotating around to this long side down here to have that come behind. Now what I would recommend if you guys are very beginner at this is tying two packets in rubber bands so that they don't leave each other and using an older deck of cards anyway so it's clumpier um, and that is going to help you get that move down. So to go on to the other grip you can do for this move, all you have to do is, if you know, the prerequisite would just be an Erdenay's go round or an Erdenay's grip. So if you guys go learn my move, uh, I believe it was Balasong or Flip Flop, it's probably Flip Flop, um, or Frankie, then you can learn a move like that. But it's this grip, and all that happens is, you break a packet off underneath with your index finger, and then you use your nail on the bottom packet to let it slide out like this. So you're just bringing that packet forward and the middle finger, ring finger, and pinky are kind of extending out to allow this packet to come over top while this packet is gripped between your index and the heel of your hand. And then when it turns in, it can rotate like that. And now you're in a position perfectly to do trigger. Uh, Retrigger and everything else in the variations are much harder, but that is the basics for trigger guys. And I wanted to thank Nikolai again for letting me teach it. So with some practice, this took me um, after having 10 years of cardistry experience, like a couple days to learn and get down and definitely weeks to get smooth. So if you guys aren't getting it right away, uh, do not be discouraged. It's also very fun to take it out of just using your, the way I taught you with the grip, using your index and middle, uh, with a packet in dealer's grip to grab from another packet to take out and then perform trigger. Um, and that looks really cool. Sometimes I'll do it in a fluid motion like this where I'll finish off here. I'll place it in that grip and then let it finish off. It's a really good closer. It's a very fun fidget one hand move. And I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and then watch the slow-mos and that should help you more. And then I'll see you guys in the outro. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial on Trigger. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a little knacky to learn, and so if you haven't practiced a lot of one-handed moves, it can be complicated. And thank you again to Nikolai Peterson for giving me permission to teach this move. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys give credit to those guys previously, R.A. Mendoza, Della Mark Resma, and Nikolai, because Nikolai popularized it, and there were other people that created it. This was not my move. And let's just jump into some housekeeping. So if you guys don't know, I'm Nate Lex, and I work for xdex.com. That's x-dex.com. We resell decks of playing cards, and we also get to make our own, including the Lo-Fi Mix Volume 1 and the Sukuyomi, a Lo-Fi Mix, excuse me, a music-themed deck of cards and a Japanese deck of cards, and you guys can still buy those in our store right now, and every deck of cards I use in these videos is also available in our store. We have over 1,500 different decks of cards to buy from, or to purchase, to choose from, I should say. 
Uh, so go check out that store. Uh, thank you guys who've been tuning in for a while. I really appreciate it. I finally have it marked down uh, what I'm doing for the giveaway posts. I apologize again for how long this has been taking, but expect next week before the next tutorial, you should have a way to enter a giveaway to get uh, one of three different decks of cards, a Sukuyomi deck, a Lo-Fi deck, or a Sukuyomi Gilded deck. So you guys can check those out on our website as well. Um, if you guys haven't already, please follow us on Instagram. That is X Decks Rare Cards on Instagram. I comment back all the time to your guys' posts. I answer every dm i think that this past week i answered over 100 dms so i always comment back i love interacting with you on my posts and i've been trying to do um, a daily deck a day so you guys can see kind of the assortment of what we have in our store it's a lot um, also I wanted you guys to check out the Discord that is uh, this link below here that I'm not going to say out loud. Um, every Thursday, I'm going to be on there from 3 to 4 p.m. jamming and troubleshooting moves if you guys need help learning things. And I would love to be and make myself available for you guys to learn some things. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Please check out and subscribe to our channel if you guys haven't already. There's plenty more tutorials where this came from. Um, I teach everything from the basics to advanced, and I am still working on my own moves, so uh, more moves will be coming out for the foreseeable future. I'm not really running out of them, and I am in talks with some people in the background who want to do some guest tutorials on our channel, so if you are interested in teaching one of your moves, you guys can also comment that on our YouTube channel or our Instagram, and I can get back with you guys, and we'll see how we can arrange that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.